Hello and welcome, it's Fandroid here, and today we're going to be talking about what I've got going on for my setup. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, one of the first things I think we should talk about today is my widget. Now, I've been constantly been talking about my widget, the Zuper widget. You know, I you know I'm a big fan of this if you watched my previous episodes on my setups and I just can't emphasize enough like how well this works. Definitely if you're going for, you know, detailed themes like I am and I'm sure some of you are if you're watching this video, but it's just there's so many different things you can do. You can go in and you customize the fonts and I really really like this definitely if you want See, if you wanted to go for more of a classical thing, you would go for um, a font that, you know, had sort of more of a old rustic type look, to look at, like, look for it, I guess. And so I, I sort of wanted, you know, thin, clean, you know, clean cut type of thing. And, you know, here you can see some just different types of widget themes that, you know, you can use. I, I mean, you can purchase these off the App Store, but there's really, it's sort of up to you. You're going to need them to start your base, sort of, for your the widget that you want to make. Um, I think that one of the widgets that I use, I use this one, actually, to make the one that I'm using currently. And I, what I did was I used it, but I also, what I had to do was just change all the details see as you can see it's really really different from what I had just shown you alright so next I think we should talk about the icon now in order to view these icons I mean well actually to actually open you know and see the app itself I guess in a sense you have to actually go into Nova settings and you have to look it up in your icon packs and I use stamped black now I'll go ahead and leave a uh, link in the description so you guys can get to these icons as you can see they're plain and simple there are missing quite a bit but since I was going for a one app sort of icon theme you know as you can see all I have is the app drawer that was all I was really going for on that now for the wallpaper you guys know I'm a big fan of Zedge if you watch my previous episodes and I just really like this because there is such a vast majority of like a whole bunch of different wallpapers which is really nice you can look up abstract and my wallpaper that I'm currently using is an abstract one but it's just the fact that it has all these different types of categories is just amazing to me and it goes into so much detail so I'll go ahead it looks like my video went wacko here so I'll go ahead and give you guys a link to the description to get to the actual photo that I've used for this in case you wanted to go for that theme that I'm going for so with my home screen what I did is you can see I just went with a very 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 simple theme and you guys may be asking well how do you deal with that and you're not able to get your apps you know that you use most often very quickly well I'll go ahead and make another video on that because I use swipe pad and I'll show you how to set that up and whatever you need to do to get that going and it's really really nice as always thanks for watching leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more